Hey everyone. All right, so I'm still kind of on that bow sprint errand and I wanted to catch y'all up to speed. So after I dropped off the bow sprint, Howdy and his friends looked at it and his colleagues, they looked at it and they said, bottom line, this, this piece of wood, this really big piece of wood is too big for the boat. He said, it's going to put too much strain on the boat. It's too much strain on the rigging. So how do you recommended that we do a fur laminate? So two by eight laminate uh, made out of fur. He thinks that's ideal. I said in the very beginning that I don't know really enough to have even opinion, except um, to say darn it, because I really liked that piece of wood. Um, but it's okay, and I think that deferring to the to the pros is is exactly what this is about. So, um, long story short, I loaded that big beam that was on the back of the truck and brought it to Deltaville and I gave it to one of the guys at the boat yard. So, um, it's always nice to add a little tip and he needs it for his driveway. So, or some kind of something like that. So anyway, here I am now back in Deltaville with the boat and my foot is healing. So I'm able to move around and I thought I would just do a quick little outside tour. I know I had promised three weeks ago, right before I broke my foot, that I would um, do a walkthrough. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. It's it's You guys don't really know the story, but I did that very first, hey, this is me intro video that was like 30 minutes long. And um, I walked outside and, and I saw the Clint, the same guy that I gave the beam to, I saw him and I was like, oh, hey, I wanted to show you this video. So I followed him into the store, not that video, but a different video. I followed him into the store and there was a little step um, right right where he was standing. I didn't see and I was trying to pull up video on my phone and wham! I mean, I fell like such a dipshit, like fell and broke three bones in my foot. So I didn't get to finish that day, um, unfortunately. So you guys haven't really had a chance to see what the boat, even what I've been talking about as far as what this boat goes. So. I'm going to back up a little bit now that we've heard some about the bow sprint. We know that the bow sprint itself, which is the big long piece, um, is at Howdy Bailey Yacht Services. And then SNS Marina Norfolk is putting on a new bow pulpit. That's the stanchions and rails that go around the front. Uh, some people don't know. So I'm, I have horse friends that are on here that don't know the lingo. So I'm, I'm telling them that... Basically, it's a cage that goes around the tip of the boat where you can walk out there and sort of look down and be over top of the water. And it's um, it's a pretty big bow sprint. But my dad wanted the stanchions raised to 36 inches. So SNS Marine is raising that. And then what we'll probably end up doing, my dad wants 36 inches all the way around the boat with the, the safety rail and the stanchions. So we're probably going to... Um, take that over to Howdy. Not sure how we're going to work that out, but I digress. I'm going to stay on point, walk outside, show you the boat, and um, see see what y'all what think. Okay, hang on. Okay, well, here she is in all of her glory. She's a trans world 41 foot. Uh, the bow sprint is about six feet long, maybe. And as you can see, she looks like a snub-nosed whale. At the moment, her rigging is taken, is, is loosened, at least disconnected, to take the bow sprint off. And she's also unhappy because her bimini and cockpit cover is halfway done. So it used to have mint green, like a greenish color, a teal, and we are changing everything to black. So all the covers will be black. We have not decided what color to paint the bottom yet. Um, I always look encouraged to hear from people what they think. The red stripe I'm not completely committed to, although my dad is. So we'll talk about we'll talk about that. She is a catch rig, so I'm gonna go up above and just let you see how things are on the top and and show you the most recent conversation. All right, well, as you can see, we made it up above and the uh, the Dodger and the cockpit cover have all like the, are started. So we have the butterfly hatch cover is on, the 
just the forward hatch cover is on. And then if I sort of move forward and turn around, you'll see that half of the Bimini cockpit covers on. The holdup has been the Dodger. So as you can see, the Dodger sits in front of the sail traveler. And I talked to a couple of friends who've also told me to make sure I do landscape because apparently people are watching YouTube on TV now. And my other direction was just too super weird. So long story short, we have decided to move the traveler forward. So probably somewhere around here to get it forward of the Dodger so that the traveler and the Dodger can be used at the same time. The way it sits, the Dodger, if the Dodger's up, the traveler can't be used. Um, I'd like to hear some, you know, input about that and whoever, whoever has some experience about doing this, again, the boatyard's probably going to do it, but, um, the other thing I want to show you is snow. It's terrible. It is, it's just really icky out right now. Hey, so here I am up on, up on Bob. So I still call her Bob. I haven't really quite figured out what to name her, but it's the middle of winter. Burr. It's not as cold as it has been. And I'm excited to see that. Oh, the other thing we did this week was order the engine. So we ordered an 80 horsepower uh, Yanmar diesel. It's currently powered by a 60 horsepower. Dad wanted something bigger. So, okay, let's go. So we ordered that. Should be in in the next week. Um, I also signed up to take a captain's class. So I'm excited about that. And um, I bought a book about how to get to the Bahamas on a sailboat. So I've already started making provision lists and I don't know, it's getting, it's getting closer and I'm very excited and um, I wanna just keep doing these little videos and even though it's cold out here and I don't have a jacket, I'm so excited to be on Bob and I see the Bahamas in the future. So uh, tune in as soon as I get some updates. This week I'm going home, uh, back into land, uh, down to Keswick, Virginia, where I have some horses to take care of, some veterinary stuff to handle, and my foot's healed enough that I'm, I think I'm gonna try to get back in the saddle. Um, so I know some of you are sailboaters, but some of you are also horse people. Um, my friends that are horse folks, yeah. I'm getting trying to get back in the saddle, and then I'm gonna try to go uh, fox hunting. So um, uh, tune in, and thanks, and again, if you have any, uh, questions or any input I would love to hear it um, a, a couple of you said hey turn your camera around so I did so so here it is I hope it comes up right so let me know because I'm super awkward about stuff like this okay take care everyone and have a nice few days bye bye